The U.S. has just stopped short of calling Pakistan's budget a sham. A State Department report says Pakistan doesn't even meet the minimum requirements of fiscal transparency. That means Pakistan is hiding its sources of funding. Well, we all know that China is Pakistan's biggest bank and the allocations for the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor get no mention in the budget. Why is Imran Khan's government hiding it when the whole world knows about it? This is just one of the points raised in this transparency report. Last week, Pakistan unveiled its budget for the upcoming fiscal year. The government made the document public. The U.S. appreciates the move and, in the same breath, calls out Pakistan's bluff. Making public a fudge document is not the same as disclosing full information. The government published limited information on debt obligations. Let me tell you why, and it's not a pretty picture. Pakistan does not want to tell its own people how much it owes China. The relationship runs on stealth. Pakistan's friend China has also been named in the very same report for lack of transparency. The fiscal transparency report also makes an unreasonable demand on Pakistan. I say unreasonable because it wants Pakistan to subject its intelligence agency budgets to parliamentary or civilian oversight. But Pakistan's top spy agency, ISI, will not agree to it. Agreed, a secret agency's operations must be kept secretive. The U.S. is not asking what the ISI does with the money. The question is, how much of it is being given to the spy agency? Running a spy operation can be, ex can be expensive. A public discourse of this could lead to a backlash. The ISI may lose the money it gets every year. And will the ISI agree to such scrutiny? Absolutely not. It wants to keep secret keep its secrets from its own citizens. What's the conclusion of this report? Pakistan has made no progress on improving the fiscal transparency. What's worse, Somalia and Yemen have made significant progress. Somalia has experienced armed conflict for nearly three decades. In Yemen, the separatists in the south are declaring independence. The country could be split apart. And yet Pakistan's ranking is worse than Somalia and Yemen. Is there more to say? about how Pakistan is being run.